Well, I am an obstetrician and gynaecologist, um, and I've been one for about 20 years. Um, I've also uh, got a master's in epidemiology, um, because I was very interested in science. Um, and also I've got a doctorate looking at a, a drug that helps to contract the womb in labour and delivery. How, however, my views on pregnancy and childbirth were uh, transformed by my own pregnancy and the birth of my son. Um, I thought after 20 years of obstetric knowledge that I knew most everything and I, I was a teacher for young and new doctors. Um, however, it was a humbling experience to be pregnant. Um, first of all, um, I suppose it enhanced my understanding of the humanistic side of labour and delivery. Um, it made me aware of the profound influence of communicating um, to my baby and my baby communicating with me, uh, a sort of wordless communication. Um, in a scientific paradigm, I might say that it's chemicals or neurochemicals wafting between the two of us, but nevertheless, a dynamic and a conversation was set up between myself and the baby. And this dynamic uh, led me through a very unpredictable course of pregnancy. Uh, first of all, um, I, I had a few illnesses. Um, and in retrospect, there's a gut feeling of mine that my baby orchestrated it. Um, but anyway, the illnesses actually kept me away from my workplace. And in that staying away from my usual place of work and knowledge, I had the opportunity to draw upon the wisdom of several experts in childbirth. Um, and this uh, wisdom was um, um, empowering. Um, I um, partook in pregnancy yoga, which uh, heightened my sense of awareness of my body. It gave me confidence to birth. Um, it gave me an excitement about giving birth. Um, it helped me communicate with my baby, and it actually helped my mo mobility immensely. Um, my pregnancy also resulted in me understanding what some women called inner wisdom. I've seen this in many books subsequent to my birth, but hadn't heard of this concept actually whilst, whilst I was pregnant or before. Um, but came to my own conclusion that there's something about the nature of pregnancy, uh, the hormones, um, the life event, um, that can actually bring you closer to a sense of inner knowledge about what is best for the baby and the mother. And I would say uh, it was that, um, that um, central issue that led me to actually having a home birth rather than going for a hospital birth, which uh, was surprising to even myself. Um, it was actually my baby that orchestrated the event. I felt um, in the latter part of pregnancy um, that uh, that was going to be the way I could have the best outcome. Uh, on a very deep personal level, I could feel that if I was in an environment which is fearful and worrying, and certainly my place of work and dealing with all the problems that pregnancy can um, result in, um, is an environment that conjures up those images. So in a sense, I felt that if I was away, in a very comfortable surrounding, such as my home, um, that my body would be able to unfold itself um, and return to that sort of inner knowledge that uh, most women, not all, but most women, the majority of women, can give birth healthily by themselves as part of their health rather than as a part of disease. And I felt that my baby um, almost said to me, I will do it if you just give me the right environment. And I have to say, it was transformational. <laughs> Anybody want to ask her a question? Mm. I'm curious about, did it transform your work as a professional, this carrying this heart space? Say more. I suppose it, the transformation is so deep 
<laughs> it needs to be speechless. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bravo.